What's up YouTube? It's Kevin here, the Migraine Guy, back with another video in the medication series. Today we're dealing with Levetiracetam, uh, otherwise known as Keppra, much easier to say. Uh, this particular prescription I have, each pill has 250 milligrams of the uh, medication in it. Uh, the medication was originally uh, prescribed and designed to help uh, treat uh, patients who get regular seizures, um, so it's an anticonvulsant. Um, a couple videos that I did a while back about a different anticonvulsant um, kind of explain why you would want to take seizure medication for migraines, but it has to do with uh, cascading effects uh, that happen in your brain neurologically. Um, and, you know, anticonvulsant medications like Keppra uh, are designed to uh, uh, reduce overall brain activity a bit uh, because, you know, when a seizure occurs, there's massive amounts of... Uh, uh, electrical activity going on, hence the convulsions. Uh, so if you can slow that down uh, by calming the brain down with a medication like this, then the idea is that the seizures will reduce both in frequency and intensity. Uh, and it just so happens that similar neurological activity occurs for migraines, and so um, you may be prescribed an anticonvulsant of some kind, Keppra or otherwise, uh, to help combat your uh, migraines. Uh, so a couple things to keep in mind about Keppra here. Uh, is that it's uh, preventative rather than abortive, so this is a medication that you will take every day um, for a long time, potentially. Uh, the doctor that I went to see, uh, that I'm going to do a, a small video series on, he's actually a migraine specialist, prescribed this uh, with the uh, relatively low dosage amount per pill of 250 milligrams because it was scalable, uh, and by that I mean uh, the initial idea was take one pill every day for two weeks. If it doesn't seem like the migraine frequency and intensity is going down, then start taking two pills every day, so 500 milligrams, and then 750 milligrams if the 500 is not working, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the way up to around 3,000, he said, is pretty safe. Uh, gets filtered out in your kidneys, you know, you pee it out, basically, whatever uh, excess is in there, and so that was, that was the goal with Keppra here, was to start taking a small dosage and build up um, uh, and he gave me a couple other medications also to have kind of in the background, uh, and the idea was to try and find some sort of potential combination of multiple medications to hopefully overall reduce uh, migraine frequency. Um, one of the bad side effects of Keppra um, is, it, for me, uh, there are a lot of potential side effects, but the, the side effect that I noticed almost immediately was just that I became extremely lethargic. I just didn't want to do shit. I just wanted to sit down and stare. Uh, and it was noticeable, too. You know, it's not just like the normal want to sit down and stare because you're tired from work or whatever. This was like more than uh, just being lazy. This was like a lack of motivation to do normal things. Uh, and I'm in graduate school right now, and so not doing work just wasn't an option so after about three weeks of taking this I had to I had to stop just in order to regain motivation to actually stay on top of my studies uh, so now that I'm done with coursework in my graduate program I'm uh, probably gonna start a regiment back up uh, and so I can catalog that also as I start back again with the 250 milligram dosage and then potentially scale up from there if that doesn't seem to reduce migraine intensity and frequent, uh, frequency. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of, you know, it's a medication that affects the activity in your brain, so there are a lot of potential side effects. Um, uh, some of the common ones besides, uh, like, being lethargic, uh, dizziness is a common one too. I do get a little dizzy on these, but not terrible. It's not like some of the other medications I've done videos on. Uh, uh, vomiting, maybe some diarrhea, um, and of course, because life's not good without irony, these these can cause headaches. Um, so just a couple things to keep in mind. All in all, it seems like this medication is uh, pretty well tested, pretty safe, um, uh, and so the the crazy side effects probably shouldn't scare you off or make you want to uh, talk to your doctor about a different medication. Um, so yeah, uh, I will be hopping back on these guys probably pretty soon, uh, and I will let you know how they go. See you later, guys.